Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thank you for joining me today as we read a psalm a day throughout the book of Psalms. Today we'll be reading Psalm 70 together. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible. Feel free to follow along in your own favorite translation as we read this psalm and find its meaning for us in this day. Hurry, God, to deliver me. Hurry, Lord, to help me. Let those who seek my life be ashamed and humiliated. Let them fall back and be disgraced. Those people who delight in my downfall. Let those who say, aha, aha, stop because of their shameful behavior. But let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let all who love your saving help say again and again, God is great. But me, I'm poor and needy. Hurry to me, God. You are my helper and my deliverer. O Lord, don't delay. It's the end of Psalm 70. And one of the things that I wanted to point out right away, normally I don't uh, do too much research. I just like to kind of uh, share with you my just initial impressions on the psalm. But one of the things that actually caught my attention in the footnotes as I was uh, pulling this up for today was that this footnote says that this psalm is almost identical to Psalm 40 verses 13 through 17. And so, you know, if you want, if you want to dig a little deeper, if you want to compare notes... Then take a look at Psalm 40, verses 30 through 17, and take a look at how very, very similar they are, and see what you think. See if maybe, you know, if you have been taking notes throughout the Psalms, you know, if there's something in that was in those 13 through 17 verses that was what connected you in Psalm 40, see if maybe that connects you. Uh, in the same way to Psalm 70, you know, we're 30 Psalms later, which means we're, uh, you know, over 30 days uh, since we read that Psalm, you know. So how did you uh, react or change if it was, in fact, part of that section of Psalm 40? But anyway, take a look at that Psalm, see what you think, and, um, you know, maybe wonder why. Was it uh, taken out and adapted? Was it uh, you know, was that section taken out and just used for a specific purpose and then in its way became its own psalm or song? Uh, you know, what do you think? Uh, you know, one of the things that uh, sticks out to me uh, is this hurry God to deliver me, hurry Lord to help me, just this kind of this sense of urgency, you know, and I think that Oftentimes when we are experiencing trouble, and not to say that sometimes when we have trouble there isn't urgency, because there is, uh, but I just, you know, I wonder about those times when we feel like there needs to be a sense of urgency, when there doesn't necessarily actually need the the immediacy that we as humans tend to tend to think there needs to be, you know, and I find that especially true uh, with my children, you know, oh my gosh, you know, mom, dad, come here right now. And we, you know, we get up and we race in there and there's not a spider where they said there was a spider. And so there really wasn't anything there even to be worried about, nor was there really a, a real need for urgency uh, about a spider. But, you know, we just have this tendency and we, we, we want things, especially in today's culture, you know, we want things to happen immediately. And again, not to say that that's not wrong with God and, you know, for turning to God and wanting God in our lives and, and wanting God to hurry and to help us and to be our, on our side. I think that's a good thing. Uh, But we see it again repeated at the very end. I am poor and needy. Hurry to me, God. But I think that the sense of urgency feels better when you're asking God to be in your life. 
especially in that the end of the the psalm where it says you are my helper and my deliverer O lord don't delay recognizing that god is the one who delivers us and in that sense of deliverance from from those things that are difficult from those things that uh, could be harmful for ourselves, asking God to come and intervene and to not delay for any of that, you know, I can see how that would be a good sense of urgency, that we are turning to God, that we are asking God for help instead of relying on our own uh, being, or our own understanding, or our own, uh, you know, way to figure out the situation, but turning to God. And that's where I, I appreciate the psalmist's sense of urgency. So what did you hear? What did you like? What maybe didn't you like? Write it down. Share it with a friend. Share it with us. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And God bless.